Hi, my name is Daniel. I'm 22 years old. I'm from the Weile area in Denmark and I used to go to high school, the business high school there. Um, before going to university, I spent one year at Copenhagen Business School before I decided to quit after a year. And then I spent one gap year in a startup in Amsterdam before I went to King's College here in London to study business management. When I was at Copenhagen Business School in Denmark, I figured out that I'd rather want to go abroad and have a lot more experience being in a more diverse international environment. So I knew that I had to go, to go out somewhere and, and Copenhagen Business School wasn't the place for me at that time. So I decided to take a gap year where I got some work experience and some got to, to learn a bit of different cultures and work in different environment before I then started to uh, research and apply for universities in, in the UK. The UK system is something everyone has to go through, which is also something I realized quite early on. And I was quite late in the application process. I started in, in August, September 2018 to start figuring out what universities do I want to apply for and made like a ranking list of the top five universities I want to apply for. So I had heard about this organization called Project Access and through them I got a mentorship who, a mentor who helped me uh, from the very first step of outlining my, my personal statement and writing the application and getting a contact for my reference letter um, and that was that was the, that was like walking me through each step of the way, helping me write the, the, the application, the personal statement, um, and then at the end submitting it to, to five different universities. So I applied for five different universities as each UK applicant has the option to choose five different priorities and none of them are, they're all weighted equally and your application will be sent out to all five universities. And I applied for LSE, Manchester University, University of Warwick, UCL and King's College, all from what in the title said business management and that's what I thought would be the same. I had um, an offer from everyone except for LSE. I based all of my decisions on online research and I had a few friends who went to open days and offer holder days and especially when you've already applied there and you get an offer, there's a really good time period where you can choose and consider and visit the new universities especially and see how the different universities differ differentiate themselves. So I had an option of going to UCL instead of King's um, I think it's really important to emphasize the differences in the two, even though the courses are called the same, essentially. UCL has a really strong emphasis and a really old legacy of being specialized in engineering and, and hardcore mathematical studies and the management science program, which is a really young program and um, also really reflects that. King's College, on the other hand, has a strong history of social sciences, war studies and the, the business department in the university also really reflects that. I ended up choosing King's College Business Management simply because it had such a broad area of, of subjects, of modules and second, third year are basically all elective modules. So you can choose from a wide package of, of different courses which you want to do and it's extremely, you can take it into any kind of field and, and a co-student of mine and I can end up in two very different positions when we graduate because you can specialize in HR, you can specialize in data science, you can do more in terms of leadership, you can focus on finance. So there's so many directions you can go in and that is the kind of opportunity I wanted. So looking back at my own application process, how that went, I, the hardest part of that was definitely deciding on uh, how does the university differentiate themselves in terms of like the history they have and what they're focusing on and 
and also just understanding how the UK schooling system works because the A levels here in this country is extremely different from, from the Danish system, especially when you have to translate your grades. And if you're attending IB, yes, you will have an easier time, but there's still a bit of, of friction in that process because the universities are so used to their own, own educational system. So help getting help from an organization such as Project Access was really invaluable for me and, and, and yeah, that, that, that helped a lot.